तो अगले जिस दोस्त को मैं रियासत फ्लोरिडा से बुलवा रहा हूँ अगर डॉक्टर ना होते तो दास्तान गो होते और करिया करिया कहानियाँ सुनाते फिरते जब उन्हें दावत के लिए कॉल किया तो मैंने कहा कि भई बहुत से दोस्त हैं जो अपनी अपनी कहानी सुनाना चाह रहे हैं तो आप जरा कुछ मुख्तसर कहेंगे वो कहता छो ना मैं घंटे की गल तो मैं तुम्हें तो सुनाऊंगा <laughs> तो तालियों की गूंज में अशरफ चौधरी साहब السلام علیکم لبنہ اجازت ہے اے بندہ شریف اصلی انو کہندے بھی با इधर भी यही हाल है रियाज बाबर ने मैं कॉल किया आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू फस्ट आई कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश लेकिन पंजाबी पंजाबी है रियाज बाबर ने मैं कॉल किया कि तू कोई गप शप वास्ते खड़ा होकर कुछ कहना तो तू मैं ये दस कि तू की कहेंगा आई डोंट नो फीर मैंबर और नाट कि मैं इनू क्या मैं क्या यार जी की कहने वाली गल मैं तेन हूँ की दसनी है तो जो उत्थे तो जी फिल्म दी होनी चाहिए गलबात तो फिल्म दी तो तद होगी कि भाई जो उ जाके जो होएगा बाकी कोई सवाल तुम तो नहीं मैं पहल करना आई एम ग्लैड यू एस्ट तुम बाला बाला शाला के बारे में पूछ रहे हो वो तीन वजूहत है सब तो इंपॉर्टेंट जी पहली गल है वह तो है जीन्स जीन्स जेड ना दे डिटरमिन के हाउ यू गोइंग टू बी एंड दस बट द रीजन इज दूसरी जी गल है वो ये कि रैलेटिवली इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि रैलेटिवली रिलैक्सड लाइफ जिनी भी हो सकती है भसूड़ियाँ तो बतेरिया होंगे आई रिमैबर कि वन ऑफ द टाइम आई सैड भसूड़ी तो एक लड़किया ने किसी ने पूछा यार भसूड़ी की होंगी है तो ना प्रॉब्लली दे नो कि बट भसूड़ियाँ इस हर बंद लाइफ भसूड़ियाँ होंगे सो दैट इज अनदर रीजन कि इफ यू हैव रिलैक्स लाइफ रैलेटिवली स्पीकिंग सो दैट डिटरमिन दैट हाँ ठीक है बाकी तीसरी जी गल है ना वो है कि ताकि जी बीवी है ना वो बड़ी खड़ाकदार होनी चाहिए है वो तो खिंच के रखे तो वैसे तुम ये भी सोचते हो गए कि बीवी ताकि भी खड़ाकदार है कि ताे बाल के आना की होया अच्छा यद हम जवाब जोड़ा वो तुम आप ही सोच लो मैंने तो नहीं दस सकता बाकी जड़ा खर्चे की गल है वो अठ नौ डालर लगते हैं वो भी अगर कूपन हो सा वाइफ लभ लुभ के रख दी है इधरों उधरों अखबारों चो तो फिर एक अद्धा डालर होर भी कट जाता है हाँ वह भी चलता है ओ, एक शीशे के नाल महीना डेढ़ महीना लंघ जाता है तो असी कभी पार्लर शार्लर कभी गए नहीं तो आपस के बेच ही एक दूसरे के नाल उन्हें ला के तो गुजारा कर लें बल्कि हूँ तो काफ़ी देर तो हजामत भी हम तो लुभना ही कर दी है पहले तो कंघी तो कैंची हूँ दूजे इंस्ट्रूमेंट इस्तेमाल हो रहे वैसे 
ਦੋ ਕੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਹਫਤੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਆਜ਼ਮ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਬੈਠਾ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਾਈ ਦੀ ਦੁਕਾਨ ਤੇ ਬੈਠਾ ਆਜ਼ਮ ਯੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਦੈਟ ਸੋ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਈ ਵੈਂਟ देयर ਕਿ ਉਹ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਬਾਲ ਸ਼ਾਲ ਕੱਢਦੀ ਆ ਲੁਬਨਾ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਡੇ ਸ਼ਾਡੇ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਯਾਰ ਹੁਣ ਰਿਯੂਨੀਅਨ ਚ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਰਾ ਇੱਕ ਦਫਾ ਨਾਈ ਕੋਲ ਬਾਲ ਕਟਾ ਲਈ ਬਾਰਾਲ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਯੂਸਫ ਸੰਧੂ ਨੇ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਸੁਣੀ ਸੀ ਫੈਸੀਨੇਟਿੰਗ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਖਾਲਦ ਰਿਆਜ਼ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਮੈਂ ਸੁਣੀ ਆ ਪੜੀ ਆ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪ੍ਰੈਸਿਵ ਮੇਰੀ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਬੋਰਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲੀ ਤੇ ਆਈ نو ਆਮ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗੋ ਥਰੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਾਸਟ ਮੇਰੀ ਪਦਾਇਸ਼ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੋਈ 22 ਨਵੰਬਰ 1946 ਫੈਸਲਬਾਦ ਲਾਲਪੁਰ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਕੋਲ 20 ਮੀਲ ਦੂਰ ਪਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਭਾਈਆਂ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਚੋਂ ਛੋਟਾ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਬੇਬੀ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਦੋਂ 5 ਸਾਲ ਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਮੇਰੇ ਭਾਈ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਡੇਢ ਪੌਣੇ 2 ਸਾਲ ਵੱਡੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ K4 ਤੋਂ ਫਿਰ K5 ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਫਸਟ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਮਤ ਕਾ ਪਿੰਡਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕੱਚੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਪੱਕੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਚੁੰਕੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਉਮਰ ਦਾ ਦੌੜਾ ਫਰਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਇੰਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੱਚੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਤੋਂ ਪੱਕੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਟੈਸਟ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਾਲਿਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਤੂੰ ਛੋਟਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸਮਝ ਸਮਝ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਤੂੰ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਰਹਿ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਭਾਈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਗਾਈਡ ਕਰ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਐਜ਼ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਅਲੋਂਗ ਸੋ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਕੱਚੀ ਜਮਾਤ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਟੈਸਟ ਹੋਣਾ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬੈਠਣ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ 1 ਇਅਰ ਬੈਕ ਤੇ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਮੇਬੀ 1 ਇਅਰ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਮੇਡ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਸਕੂਲ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਫ ਹਾਂ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਬਾਰਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਟਾਟਾ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਚੋਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਇਮਰੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਥੋੜੇ ਦੂਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਾਲਿਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੇ ਭਾਈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਪੜਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਭੇਜ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੇ ਕਦੀ ਅਹਿਸਾਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਆ ਬੀਂਗ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਬੇਬੀ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਦੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਬਡੀ ਐਲਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਵਾਲਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ how much sacrifice they did really ke mainu changi tarah yaad hai ke mere wale sahab ne unna nu samjhaya ke edi taleem vaaste te education vaaste te career vaaste inu utthe bhejna pena otherwise main agar hun sochda ke yaar assi apne agar 9 saal ya 10 saal de bacche nu bhejde ho kithe bahar te forever almost and uh, it is very painful a very difficult decision lekin sadi walda ne kiya ke theek hai that's what has to be done so that's what was done so it's something really very important aspect of life which we didn't not realize at that time but anyway asi utho main fir utthe high school chala gaya utthe vi koi na modern oh nahi si ke sade teacher jehde english de teacher oh ek khargosh te kachve di kahani hundi si te oh onu tortoise nu kehnde hunde si two toys ਤੇ ਬਾਰਲ ਆਈ ਗਿਵ ਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਟ ਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਟੀਚਰਸ
ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਰੋਲ ਨੰਬਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸੀਗਾ 10 ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਇਹ 10 ਨੰਬਰੀਆ ਬਦਮਾਸ਼ ਤੇ ਵੈਸੇ ਤੂੰ ਤੇ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਬਦਮਾਸ਼ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਚੰਗਾ ਭਲਾ ਸ਼ਰੀਫ ਆਦਮੀ ਹੈ ਬਾਰ ਆਫ ਦੈਸ ਵਟ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਤੇ ਉਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਫੋਰ ਕਲਾਸ ਫਾਲੋ ਸੀਗੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹਦਾ ਰੋਲ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ 7 ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਰੋਲ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਐਂਡ 2 ਐਂਡ 3 ਤੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਉਠਾਣਾ ਨਾ ਟੀਚਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਸਵਨ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ ਟਾਈਪ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਉਹਨੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਯਾਦ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਿ ਉਦੋਂ ਟੈਡੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਰਿਵਾਜ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਕੱਪੜਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰਵੇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹਦੀ ਪੈਂਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇੰਨੀ ਟਾਈਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਪਾਉਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਲਾਉਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਦਰਜੀ ਨੇ ਕਪੜਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਲਪੇਟ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੀਨ ਲਾਤੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਨਾ ਬਾਰਾਂ ਲੋਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਕੁਆਡਰੈਂਗਲ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਚ ਰਹੇ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਲ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਵੀ ਬਾਅਦ ਚ ਨਾਮ ਬਣਿਆ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਮੂਮੈਂਟ ਫਾਰ ਅਸ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਯੂਸਫ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਅਮਜੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੋਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਚ ਦੋਸਤ ਸੀਗੇ ਡੇ ਸਕਾਲਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਉਥੋਂ ਬਸ ਤਰਲੇ ਮਰਲੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਉਹ ਨੰਬਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਬਲਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਯਾਦ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਫ ਐਸ ਸੀ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੇਰੇ ਸੀ 629 ਨੰਬਰ ਅਮਜੀ ਜ਼ਹੀਰ ਦੇ 629 ਨੰਬਰ ਤੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਕਲਾਸ ਫਰ ਹੋਰ ਹੈ ਸੈਫਲਾ ਨਿਆਜ਼ੀ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਇਆ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 629 ਨੰਬਰ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਯਾਰ ਨੰਬਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੜੇ ਥੋੜੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਕਾਲਜ ਦਾ ਸਲੋਪ ਜੀ ਸੀ ਉਥੋਂ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅਮਜੀਦ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਯਾਰ ਨੰਬਰ ਬੜੇ ਥੋੜੇ ਆਏ ਸੀ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਡੀਕਲ ਕਾਲਜ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਯਾਦ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਏ ਆ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਬਾਰਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਦਾਖਲ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਕੇ ਚ ਮਿਲ ਗਿਆ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਹੋਸਟਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਮਿਲ ਗਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਕਮਰੇ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬਸ਼ੀਰ ਦੀ ਅਲਾਟਮੈਂਟ ਕਮਰੇ ਦੀ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਤੇ ਅਮਜਦ ਨੇ ਸੁਣਾ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ 3 ਸਾਲ ਉਸ ਕਮਰੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਰਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਨਾਮ ਅਲਾ ਜ਼ਫਰ ਅਨਫੋਰਚੂਨੇਟਲੀ ਵਿਚਾਰੇ ਦੀ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਈਅਰ ਚ ਡੈਥ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਬਟ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਮਰਾ ਅਲਾਦਾ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦਾ ਸੀ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਸਾਡੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਇੰਨੀ ਅੱਛੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅੰਜਾਇ ਸੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਸਟੇਟ देयर ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਰੂਮ ਫਾਰ 3 ਇਅਰਸ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਨੇਬਰ ਅਰਸ਼ਦ ਅਲੀ ਤਾਰਕ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਸੈਦ ਅਨਵਰ ਸੀ ਇਕਬਾਲ ਕਿਆਨੀ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਰੂਮ ਚ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਨਾਵਲ ਚਾਵਲ ਉੱਥੇ ਪੜ ਲੈਣੇ ਤਾਸ਼ ਵੀ ਬਾਲ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਖੇਲ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਰੀਜਨ ਸਿਨੇਮਾ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਰੌਲਾ ਸ਼ੌਲਾ ਪੈ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਟਾਂਗੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਲਾਰੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਤੇ ਵਰਲ ਵੀ ਇੰਜੋਇਡ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਬੀਡਨ ਰੋਡ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਆਨਾ ਲਾਇਬ੍ਰੇਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਆਨੇ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਨਾਵਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਰ ਜਣੇ ਮੈਂ ਯੂਸਫ ਅਮਜਦ ਤੇ ਬਸ਼ੀਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਚਾਰ ਅਸ਼ਰਫ ਯਾਰ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਲੰਚ ਲੈ ਆਂਦਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਤੂੰ ਕਾਣੀ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਆਨਾ ਲਾਇਬ੍ਰੇਰੀ ਤੋਂ ਚਾਰ ਨਾਵਲ ਲੈ ਆਉਣੇ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਨੇ ਪੜ ਲੈਣਾ ਤੇ
देट इज वेरी फ्यू पीपल आई थिंक मैं भी एन जी सैयद बने वेरी फ्यू पीपल आई थिंक आर ब्लैसड के असी तीन साल रूमेट रहे उस तो बाद भी दो साल भी उठे ही रहे नेड़े तेड़े ही बार फिर असी ई सी एम जी का इम्तहान कट्ठे दिता असी टिकट कट्ठे लाए एक नाल, एक दूसरे के नाल सीटा पर बैठ के असं आए प्लेन च पहली दफा एको हस्पता असी इंटरनशिप की वो सू हस्पता वाले ने उ हैनरी हटसन होटल से फिफ्टी नाइन स्ट्रीट के उत्थे कमरा देता उत्थे असी रूमेट तो नाल सईद करीम नेड़े वाले कमरे चंदा सी बहरहाल उस तो बाद फिर असी ये कोनी एलैंड चला गया मैं तो मिजरी कार्डिया चला गया तो सो दोज वॉज द डेज तो बाद असी रेजिडेंसी वगैरह करके तो उ चला गया कंटकी तो फिर यदि शादी भी उत्थे हो गई तो एक दफा मैं न्यूयॉर्क मिलन आया तो मैं कहता तो सनीम नाल सी तो आई डोंट नो फी रिमैम्बर दर नाट तो ये तो सनीम ने इंज करके पढ़िया नाल तो यार थोड़ा परे रहो कहता कि यार तू भी अगर शादी करा ला शादी जी ना बड़ी अच्छी चीज होंगी है और मैं यदिया गल् गुल आके शादी करा बैठा हूँ अज तक पछता रहा बाकी उस तो बाद फिर असं न्यूयॉर्क तो मैं ओकीचो भी आ गया बिच फलोरिडा इज नाइनटी माइल साउथ वी हैव माशाला शस्ता तो नसीम तो मजर तो वी आर ऑल ओवर देयर नाव गपशप होंगी रही है वक्तन फोक्तन मुलाकात तो पर अब वी आर लीडिंग पीसफुल लाइफ स्टिल गोइंग ऑन लाइफ इज ए स्ट्रगल तो बाकी इज ऑल हिस्ट्री थैंक यू वेरी मच तो आइए चलते हैं रियासत हाय मुतहदा अमरीका की जनूबी रियासत लोन स्टार स्टेट बहुत ही मेहमान नवाज शख्सियत हैं सन सताहठ अठाठ की गल है कि अक्सर मैं तो तनवीर लाई मलक कोई दो तीन बजे दोपहरी होस्टल च उठ के आते तो टक शाप से अजी अखा मलते बहते होंगे तो चाह पी रहे थे तो मुख्तार नीस छे बजे तो आया हों इन्हें राउंड शाउंड भी करने क्लासा भी अटेंड कर तो आके फिर कहना सू कि फिर कित फिर टुरन चलीए तो असं कहें यार चार नाल कोई अख तो खोल लैन दे बंद साह मरोड़ के कहें सा तगड़ा हों उ हूँ भी तगड़ा तो कहता सी आओ मैं थोड़ी अख खोल सर अख खोलने लीफ लिया दिस इज अ स्टोरी दैट रियाज टेल्स मी आल दो आई हैव वेरी गुड मेमरी and i'm going to tell you three things one that i just told you and the second one i'm going to tell you and third one i forgot <laughs> i have you know we are in the social media times and there's a term called influencers you know that influencers most people who are in the social media they will know that there are people who can persuade other people to you know, they have a lot of followers and so somebody picks them up hey advertise for us and well i have been influencer too but a bad one all my life as you just saw that is the bab you to theek nikla hai i was such a bad influencer that my relatives will not let me 
have any company with their children. I was bad. I was so bad that when I was admitted to medical school, the news was told by one of the people in my town to one of my relatives. He says, not possible. <laughs> he may have been admitted to veterinary school, not medical school. No. I'm not going to take too much time, but I'll tell you, bad will influence, so that, that's how what I have been. In first professional in medical school, I was like an outsider. I was not from any um, college or anybody, just, you know, freelancer. I got to medical school, had no friends, but luck has it that I made some friends. And some of the names that might be remembered is Tanvir Lahi, may Allah bless him with the best, Ajmal Jafri, Kenneth Rehan Paul. And they were my friends. That was my company. First year exam, I passed, they failed. Bad influencer. All three of them. All three of them. I got promoted to second. Eddie Bennett of fellow. <laughs> As I'm telling you, bad influencer. Then we got to second year. And in second year, I used to come to the medical school and go to the tuck shop and sit there all day long. But somehow the other, I was lucky enough to study enough to pass. I was not the uh, you know top one or two, but for most of the times, un unknown to other people, that I was amongst the first ten people that who will always be there passing. So I made some friends in second year. Now I don't even remember the names now. Luck has it, I passed and they failed. <laughs> Comes third year, same story repeats. Now fourth year, so I'm not going to make any friends. But again, luck has in the fifth year, one of my very close friends, and I'm going to name any more, became my friend. And the decision was made that we're going to go to America together. Now at that time, we didn't know how to say ECFMG. In second year, there was a, and you all know probably him, Tahir Sheikh, he's, a, he's still around? Yeah, I was, we were in second year playing cards there, and he is passing by carrying the books. He was, I think he was third year or fourth year. He was carrying the books for second year. He said, what is this? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to go to America, and I'm going to take an exam called, you know that ECFMG, but he didn't say it, right, EFMCG or something like that. I looked at him, I looked at him and said, you, you? I'm a whole lot smarter than you are. I can pass my test without going to classes. So that was my incentive to take the exam. I mean, start preparing for whatever, I didn't prepare much. But you know that in our, our year, that ECF new came in the middle of our final test. You remember that. So this friend of mine, he said, we're going to go to America together. And uh, therefore, we're going to take the EC ECFMG. I said, yeah, listen, I, I, I'm not ready. I'm not, I didn't prepare for this test. And you know, first time it used to be free, but second time you had to pay $45, if you remember that. Anybody who had to, I had to. So he said, don't worry, I, I'll make an arrangement for that, it's going to happen, don't worry. Well, 
the ECFM users came and I failed. It's reverse cycle this time now. I failed. And now I'm looking for my friend to get my $45 in. And he's not to be seen any place. <laughs> December of 1970, the final exams results came for the MBBS. I passed, he failed. <laughs> Somebody paid my $45. I took the exam, second time in February, and I passed, and we came to America together. Together means same year, same different hospitals, different schools. So that's my story. I have been a bad influencer, and Riaz tells that story, which I don't remember, and I said, I have a good memory. I told you one thing, I'm going to tell you the second thing, and the third thing I forgot. Thank you, may Allah bless you all of you. So, I want to give a gift to Allah to give a gift to Allah and listen to his story. I wrote it down, so I'll be on time. Assalamu uh, alaikum. I'm so grateful for all of you to have worked so hard uh, to make this reunion memorable. So many decades have passed since we graduated from KEMC. I still remember the day vividly when we were gathered in Patiala block, uh, giving interviews, gathering our papers, programs, and scheduled for first year of med school. There was apprehension, uncertainty, fear of what was to come and what was in store and knowing the road ahead would be ripe with challenges. Perhaps some of us were even wondering if we had followed the right calling, hoping it would be that we would love medicine and that medicine would have mercy on us. At the same time, there was enthusiasm, a sense of accomplishment for being chosen from among the top students of our country, a vision of making our families proud and being of service to our people. I remember seeing new unfamiliar faces of students who would be our classmates. There were questions in our minds, will they be our friends? At the very least, will we get along being in the same hostel and the environment? Were they nice people? All of us had left our homes to stay in another city away from our parents and family. We each walked with an aching sadness for home. We did not even dare to hope to find family in each other to fill that void because we did not know that was possible. Over the next five years, I found that these once strangers would indeed become family. Everlasting friendships developed Strong bonds were established. They were never to be forgotten. That has proven yet again by all of us here gathered today. My classmates became dear friends. They became my family. We shared our joys and our sorrows, our happy events and our sad events. I still remember, I still will never forget the support I received in second year when tragedy struck and my father died at the age of 48. The grief was unbearable. I could not concentrate on anything and we had a major exam around the corner. All I felt in my capacity to do was to cry through the nights, missing my dad. Nothing seemed to make any sense anymore. My direction was swallowed by my grief. But through these nights of devastation, God sent me an ease and a miracle in all of you. My classmates who stayed awake with me, who kept by my side, who essentially lifted and carried me to the finish line by not leaving me to sink or cave in. You did not run away from any of my downtrodden state. You did not 
attend only to yourselves. You did not forge your head alone. You helped me to where I am today in many ways, not only studying for the passing, at passing that exam, but also showing me that despite sorrow and hardship, despite twists and blows, there's friendship. There is not only death, but also life. There's a legacy to carry on. And by looking out for each other, there's meaning and motivation and direction and reward. The support I received from all of you is unforgettable, and I am eternally grateful to this day. I remember the gunning hard work, the unrelenting mental tension, and never-ending string of exams. I remember our slightly competitive natures. Yes, we, I'm just underplaying it, but we were very competitive as we helped each other along. We made each other better by inspiring each other to new heights, by witnessing new heights in ourselves. Our relaxation used to be occasionally <laughs> to go to an Arkali Bazaar and have uh, mango lassi, uh, thinking that diabetes, <laughs> diabetes was only for our patients that we will be seeing, future patients. Once we had a contest, as uh, Shanaz has mentioned, who would drink the most? And quickest on that day, and I'm proud to say I won the contest, although the victory cost me gastrointestinal ease for days. I'm so grateful for those moments of play and connections as we wrapped our childhood together with maturation of going through medicals growing, growing into our roles, assuming responsibilities and come with adult, that come with adulthood and community, facing obstacles meant for us that none could shield us from, enjoying the blessed fruits written for us and sent to us by the High Almighty, Most High, better than we could have dreamt. One way KEMC class of 70 stayed in touch was through gatherings such as these. And we are so grateful for those who arranged it. Another way was for WhatsApp, which we are very grateful, Dr. Vahid, who established that media for us. What a joy it has been seeing the cherished pictures you share of your families, incitable political commentary, motivating poetry, and hilarious jokes in that WhatsApp group. Let us keep getting together in person and on the phone. May God protect all of us gathered here today and our loved ones who are not present. तो नाले साड़ी वारी भी आई गई है ना नाले बुलबुले शैदा के सुने तो हंसन्स के अब जिक्र था हम कि मेरी बारी आए तो लगभग 1990 की बात है कि मैं काम से वापस टीवी के सामने भेदयानी में चैनल बदल रहा था कि छोटी भाई का पाकिस्तान से फोन आया कि अब्बा जी सुबह दी नमाज तो बाद सैर तो वापस आ रहे थे कि किसी कार ने टक्कर मार दी टांग का कंपाउंड फ्रैक्चर हुआ मेरे पाकिस्तान पहुंचते पहुंचते टांग की हालत मसीहाओं ने खराब कर दी मैंने हामिद कयूम को कॉल किया हामिद कयूम हमारे क्लासमेट थे और वहां पे लाहौर में ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन थे हामिद से मेरी आम सी अलैक्स लैक थी उसने वाले साहब की टांग में सिलाखें डालकर ऐसी ठीक कर दी कि वो अगले पंद्रह साल पैर लंगड़ाए सुबह पाँच छः मील सैर करते हस्पताल के दौरान एक दिन वाले साहब कहने लगे रियाज डॉक्टर हामिद मेरा इंजल आज कर रहा है जिंज मेरा अपना पुत्र हो गए तो हामिद ने मुझे बेमोल खरीद लिया मेरी और हामद की अलैक्स लैक दोस्ती में बदल गई मैं जब पाकिस्तान जाता हामिद से मिलता जफियों में खलूस तो था ही अब गर्म जोशी भी आ गई मैं उसे बहुत कहता कि हामिद जब मैं बूढ़ा हूँ तो मेरी टांगों में सलाखें डाल देना ताकि मैं नब्बे पचानवे की साल तक ठीक ठाक चलता फिरता रहूं अब मैं बूढ़ा होने जा रहा हूं और हमें नहीं रहा 
اس نے مجھے اتنی مولت بھی نہیں دی کہ میں اس کی محبتوں کا تھوڑا سا قرض اتار سکتا آج ایک دن اور بیت, بیت گیا اور میں موت کے ایک دن اور قریب زمانے کو کہو ذرا آہستہ چلے اس کی رفتار کہیں مجھے تھکا نہ دے تو فریدا بابر آپ نے پچاسویں کلاس آف سیونٹی کی ریونین میں شمولیت کی تو اس کے متعلق آپ کے کیا تاثرات ہیں پچاس سال کی ریونین اور پچاس سال ان کے ساتھ ریاض بابر کے اب سمجھ نہیں آ رہا کس سے بات کی جائے جس کا بھی چاہیں آپ اس کا ذکر پہلے کر دیجیے چلو پھر تھوڑا ہی کر دیں گے چھوٹو پر آؤ باقی ری ڈری یونین تو ہوں گی رہنی ہے ہاں زندگی کا سفر انیس سو چوہتر میں شروع ہوا ریاض کے ساتھ دو سال ہم لوگوں نے ڈیٹ کی اس کے بعد شادی ہوئی سیونٹی سکس اور سیونٹی سکس سے لے کر اب تک اکٹھے ہیں میں نے نہیں پتہ وجہ کی ہے لیکن اگر تھوڑا پتہ ہوئے تو ضرور دس دینا میری وجہ تو یہ ہے کہ میں سوچتی پہی ہے اے بندہ جڑا ہے گا اے دن چل ویا ہو گیا تو ہم گزارا بھی کر ہی لیے تو اس لیے ایک تو یہ وجہ دوسری وجہ کہ بندہ چنگا ہے تو میں سوچا انہوں رکھ ہی لواں نہ رکھیا تو پھر ادھر ادھر کتنے پھرتا رہے گا بیچارا میرے بغیر رہن میرے بغیر رہن جو گا کوئی نہیں بٹ آئی لو یو این آئی لو یو اللہ حافظ Yeah, now I'd like to invite Dr. Azam Khan. Uh, if you would please come and say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. You know, it's an age factor that I can't do Felbadi like Ashraf, you know, because his color of the hair tells you that he's younger than me and so. <clears throat> But this is a really a wonderful, wonderful occasion. And, uh, and I give my heart out to Riaz and Kamar and all the other organizer, Bashir, Yusuf Sandhu, Riaz Lohan, and everybody who participated. Ek shair hai, Ay dost kisi hamdame derina ka milna. Ay dost kisi hamdame derina ka milna. Behtar hai mulaqate masiha o khizr se. This is exactly how I feel. Well, I joined King Edward soon after the 1965 war, but immediately before that, I was serving in the civil defense team in Hafzabad, district Gujranwala, uh, where I was born, where I grew up and matriculated until I went to college. And when I sat for the FSC board exam, uh, Shaista Shmeem uh, stood first in the board. And um, I never knew her, but I would meet her. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But my father, you know, shamed me that a girl has gotten better marks than you. <laughs> I went to KE, but missed the day that they were going to allot the rooms uh, for the hostel. So my seat was taken by somebody else. I had to wait um, 
two months staying with uh, my father's friends or in the FC hostel until a vacancy opened and uh, I was allotted a room with Rashid Zahid and uh, Muhammad Arshid Marhum. So I became an accidental friend to Rashid, but our friendship lasted the whole life. And I appreciate them so much. You know, when I was a roommate with the Rashid, and uh, one day I developed diarrhea. And, uh, and then I was taking the lota to the bathroom. And when I would come back, Zahid Faruqi would do the same thing, and we would take turns. <coughs> and we later found out that somebody mixed Jabalota in our chai. <coughs> so one night, in, in about 1967 or you know, something like that, um, I was sleeping, and in the middle of the night, <coughs> Is banging on the door, and um, and there's huge noise. You know, there's three, four people. You know, entered the room. It's Azam Ut, coup d'état ho gaya. General Musa ne take over kar liya. Kena deh da ni tank chal raha ne othe McLeod orte. The main kya? Main baaki uthe hai main kya? The bada shor hai McLeod orte. Oh, pata chala ki oh, sin mein da time tootna si oh, se lete oh, sare taange te rakshe te ra taxiya. Okay, then I found out that that was a corruption. One time, you know, Rashid and uh, Sayyid Kaleem, they had a bet about me. The, Rashid said ke, asi khana kha le asi sham da, baithe saan othe sen de vich. And then, Azam Jadana, oh, we Ras Malaya Khasakta. The Sayyid Kaleem Kanda Kithe Khasakta, oh, the Ali Mere Naal Khana Khaka Hai Maestro. Kanda Niyo Khasakta. Kharana Ni Bad Lagi, Asi Othe Gaya, Shiri Maal Si Othe, Kheda Jo, Bidan Road De Upar Kui, Amrat Sari Hotel Si. Toh Othe, one of the Chinggis, good size the Ras Malai on this. So, on my Ras Malai, I said, I can't eat it, I'm going to eat it. So, you know, I had to, you know, I didn't have the money. So, then Ras Malai on the other side, and I went and went and went and went and protest <laughs> 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 नहीं फिर मैं खा गया ना तो फिर पैसे नहीं थे फिर पैसे ना नहीं देने पाए तो सारे सारे कमरे दिए खुशियत सी के साल को दे सारे मेहमान जड़े सना लाओर दे वो सारे कमरे ही नाजल हो जाते हैं क्योंकि ये तो अब्बा जड़ा सी होते मेड लग गया सी ये तो साल को दे तो वो ना नहीं जब तो रहने जगह नहीं सी मिलती हो सारे कुछ पाए تو ایک دفعہ نا منو یاد ہے تبلیغی جماعت آئی جمعہ دی نماز دے بعد اور تبلیغ کرن واسطے آن دے ہوں دیسی اسی سین ایج بیٹھے ساں تو ایک اینا دا ممان سی ایک پرمانین ممان سی ہو نصر شاہ تو وہ بار جاندہ ہوں دیسی دورتے ہو کہنا سی میں میڈیکل سٹورنٹ آنا کہ وہ ساڑھے کو دوکو پتہ نہیں دس سال بٹا سی تو وہ نا تبلیغی جماعت آئی उन्हें अपने मुंह दे ऊपर चादर पाल। तो उन्हें जिस तरह मौलाना के अनुसार के मेहनत करो फायदा होगा, मेहनत करो फायदा होगा, तो नसर शाह फाड़ चुके हैं। I'm sorry, 
But while the Tabigi people were talking, one of Arad Dekhan Wari si Tabigi Bandhyan Divit. The Rashad, the man. We were trying to control our Hansi, you know. I said, Rashad, the Badi Merbani came and you ride there, then on the sea, you know, they call Vespa scooter seat, the man, the pitch of Bajan on the sea. It was especially helpful when the class was over at 8 o'clock. So I was going to ride there and I was going to go to the hostel and eat food. I was going to go to the hostel and I was going to go to the hostel and I was going to go to the hostel and I was going to go to the hostel. Tanveer Alai Malik Marhum, and there is a famous saying, What my goes, college goes, canteen goes. यानी मेरा की जानदा है कॉलेज तो जानदा है या कंटीन तो जानदा तो तो वो कोई इंसिडेंट हो यार कि ही डेड समथिंग इन दी सेंट वाइल सिटिंग इन दी कंटीन एरिया एंड समबडी यू नो टोल्ड हिम नॉट टू डू इट एंड ही रेस्पॉन्डेड विथ दिस वर्ड्स इन दी एनाटॉमी क्लास प्रोफेसर अफजल you know, he gave us a talk about no sex. And um, after that, uh, we all became brothers and sisters. You know. <laughs> so much so that none of our classmates married an, a girl from our class. <laughs> and vice versa. You know, I always had some interest in poetry, at least I appreciated it, and uh, I appreciate Sinfe Nazik. But while starting dissection, dissecting the upper extremity, I was uh, doing the peeling of the skin from, the, from a female breast. And uh, this was really not for me. And I almost had a nervous breakdown. I wrote to my father sitting in the anatomy hall that this is not for me. I wanted to get out of medical school, but he immediately came over the next day and uh, we talked about it and he dissuaded me. I was named Azam Langus because we had two Azams, you know, one was Azam Lukkar and, and I became Azam Langus. And the story of my name, how I became Azam Khan in my school also, there were two Azams, you know, one was Azam Chaudhary. I could also have been Chaudhary, but, but um, I could not be that. So my father picked the name Azam Khan because in those days, General Azam Khan was very popular, you know. So. You know, I do want to remember Uzma, I visited her just about a year before she passed. And I want to remember Tanmir Malik, Khawar Muin, Harun Aziz, Muhammad Arshad, Zafar Iqbal, Ikramullah Ikram Zafar, and all those who have left us, Kenneth Rehan Paul, Ajmal Jafri, Hamad Kayyum, and I'm sure you remember. So let's have a moment of silence for all. Okay, I remember in my <coughs> physiology class, Pro Professor Alamdar Hussain. Yeah. Okay. Right. Professor Alamdar Hussain, um, you know, used to have stages and substages, and we used to take booties, you know, to get better marks. I remember Rashid taking a booty about thyroid, you know, so he wrote the whole book as a story from functions of thyroid. So the question is, write about hypothyroidism, the causes of this. And, the Rashid Ibn Pushta on ki kariye, ma kya othe leh dekhe to understand the functions of hypothyroidism, we need to understand the functions of thyroid. So while I was taking the oral exam for the forensic medicine, Professor Sadiq Hussain asked me a question, describe the difference between contused wound and the lacerated wounds. The ma ono sara kush da sita incised wounds, the contused wounds da. To minu kanda ja. पहले सवाल थी मैंने कहा जा मैं क्या मारे मैं क्या प्रोफेसर साहब गलती हो गई है तो आई कंफ्यूज द क्वेश्चन 
ਲੇਕਿਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਪੁੱਛ ਲਓ ਯੂ نو ਹੀ ਬੰਬਾਰਡਡ ਮੀ ਬਾਤ 15 ਆਰ 16 ਆਫ ਦਮ ਐਂਡ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਉਹਦਾ ਵਰਨੇਕਸ ਕਿਉਜ਼ੀਓਜ਼ਾ ਦਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆ ਤੁਕਾ ਲਾਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਤਾ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਲੱਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਇਨ ਤਾਇਆ ਸਪਰੂਸ ਕਲਾਸ ਆਈ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਰਿਆਜ਼ ਬਾਬਰ ਐਂਡ ਤਨਵੀਰ ਮਲਕ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਸਰਕਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਪ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਯੂ نو ਮੈਡਮ ਇਨ ਦ ਕਲਾਸਰੂਮ ਹੂ ਵੁਡ ਕੀਪ ਐਨ ਆਈ ਆਨ 올 ਦੀ ਨੋਟੋਰੀਅਸ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟਸ when we reached new york we used to see a movie in manhattan biweekly with kamar and shaista and they became f- frequent visitors you know me and arsh and others one of my trips to pakistan i saw shanaz getting out of bano bazaar having finished some chaat and uh, you know milkshakes <clears throat> ashraf and i roommated for 3 years in bronx new york and you know what i went through you know you know his story right i had to listen that many times in new york in am arshad and uh, me used to visit central park a lot mukhtar nis was the first chef among us in 72 asir hussain arshad and i went to florida so there's so many memories you know that then i was chess champion and one of my chess tournament this is interesting you know i, I was in my third year and was uh, for the chess tournament and uh, my opponent won two games i was losing the third game and uh, the bijli went the, the bijli did not come for about half an hour so the empire you know he said okay let's Yaan postpone ki bijli jaane wali hai we have a lot of other people who love chika. to talk okay chalo thank you chalo so, so let's Lord finish this down. and then huh? can i invite him now sure okay go ahead yes. all right okay thank you thank you thank you is he here He left. Uh, Dr. Khali. Because there are still a lot of people who haven't had a chance to come to the stage we could get lunch and then they can still come on the podium and talk uh, at one o'clock we'll have lunch and then you can keep on t- uh, carrying on this thank you assalamu alaikum uh, my name is muhammad rafiqi ali uh, you, you know everybody who listens to the ali they ask me you know are you a poet I, <laughs> So the story is in high school uh, we were only 10 students and our teacher's name was Khayal and he was a poet so there were two students with the same name so he put my name on the matriculation you know list uh, as Khayali and the other one Shaheen or something so that's how my name is so all my life I have been asked are you a poet are you a poet <laughs> so I have to live with it anyhow I, i came from a you know very small school as you, you know uh and attended the community college and uh i was uh, lucky enough to be part of this elite group for, uh, from uh, central model as well as uh, uh, government college you know these uh, i came here i didn't know the english how to speak english you know so i was from the town you know and uh, had association with only few friends like dr yunus <laughs> and um, are are only few friends there who were in your roommates or next to your room so i didn't have that much interaction except uh, knew all the names uh, who lived in the hostel and uh, i know sultan akbar yaad because i know he was a, i was told he was a socialist <laughs> and he is a follower of uh, uh, in a bhutto Uh, well, I heard at that time, but <laughs> anyway, and uh, he's a pe- pro-people party and I was pro-Islami. So anyway, so that's how I, I remember him, N- didn't have that much discussion with him. And, uh, <laughs> right, yeah. So I had a very limited interaction uh, with this, you know, I was kind of shy too, you know, came from a small town. 
And in the college, uh, um, I was kind of uh, timid that uh, you never had to talk to any of the female you know, classmates. Never had a chance. And uh, all these uh, English speaking, like Anjum Gyas Kadi, where all of it says, uh, you know, uh, yes, ma'am. I, I, I didn't even know what a ma'am was. I, I, I thought it was a madam, yes, madam, you know. But he used to say, yes, ma'am. So that, that's how I learned. And a lot of our friends uh, used to sit on the tech shop, never had the courage to go there. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I shake with the hand, never could afford even tech shop, you know. So anyhow, uh, I'm grateful to Allah that uh, he made me this company. And, and there is an example, I don't know, I'm gonna ask Sultan Akbar, he's my favorite. <laughs> but uh, uh, physics law, applies to me, okay. You know, I, I always give example, like if a fly gets into the bus, it travels at the same speed as the bus, you know. So I was lucky that I got into this class of this elite people and just got through it. So anyhow, I came to the United States and uh, Dr. Yunus was kind enough that he got me a job and, and I stayed with him for one month. He had a studio apartment and he had a new baby, and uh, he made me sleep in his bed, and he slept on the sofa and, and on the ground, um, both of them, for a full month. And then he used to give me rides, you know, the, to the hospital. I'm very thankful to him, you know. And the other, other thing was, uh, he always used to eat halal. So, when, whenever we go together to the you know uh, cafeteria, I always ended up eating um, tuna fish. <laughs> I I never like tuna fish. I, I I hate even now the taste of the tuna fish. But I, I had to eat tuna fish. <laughs> so, and and uh, another the anecdote is uh, that uh, for the fellowship I went for interview. And the director took me to the, you know, ordered regular breakfast, and uh, ordered, uh, I think the, you know, the um, bacon. It came with it, so I, I had no idea what the bacon was. <laughs> and I tasted it; it was crunchy. It was very good tasting. <laughs> so, and he continued to eat it since then, well, but, a, but a beef bacon. <laughs> Uh, maybe continue for me other, for one other time, but then I found out that this is a, this is not a, you know, and I used to eat uh, you know the other meat like uh, ali katab, you know you could eat okay, so that's how. And uh, I, after I finished the residency, I thought of going to the Golden State. I you know I had no friend whatsoever, no relatives. I just thought of, you know, you know uh, it's called Golden State, and uh, it should be good, the weather is good, and the climate is good, you know, everything is good. So, uh, but I found out that initially there was a lot of smog where I lived, you know, but they, they have taken care of that problem. Uh, anyway, the schools are good, my kids did very well in the schools, you know, so, uh, so work day and night, so many years, never had any contact, you know, they initially, the Cell phones came quite late. Uh, other before the f uh, phone calls were expensive. The cell phones were also expensive, and then uh, started to call a few friends. And that really changed me was the brother Bashir. Uh, WhatsApp started, and he put me in the uh, group. I had no idea. I, he he's the one did himself. So my name was there, so I used to get the, you know, WhatsApp messages. He has no idea why he did that too. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm grateful because of the WhatsApp. I really, f I, even though in the college I, I never shook hands with anybody, you know, the, I, I remember name prayers. He had the bell bottom, bell, you know, you know the iron white pants. Used to play it, you know, uh, cricket. Never had the courage even to say alaikum <laughs> to him, you know, because uh, you know that was something elite, something. 
So anyway, you now I feel that uh, he's a f just a friend of mine. You know, you just uh, feel, you feel very close. So that's how other friends, you know, like, uh, you know, whoever, you know. And I feel close to uh, Sultan Akbar Yad as well. You know, I like his intellectual discussion, even though I disagree on quite a few things, uh, as well as uh, Riaz Babur. <laughs> no, I, uh, you know. So a bombshell for the last. Uh, the bombshell is not the last. Anyway, um, uh, you know, I, he, he they both, Sultan Akbar Yad and him, you know, the, initially on the WhatsApp, they were together and they were gang up on the other people. <laughs> and uh, I used to call them, you know, the WhatsApp mafia. And the K70 Mafia. So, because, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> because they, they would get an agreement, I mean, an argument with the Dr. Yunus, that Dr. Yunus left for one year, the WhatsApp group. But she convinced him to come back, mashallah. We are very glad that he's back and we are very enjoying something. And uh, I always said about uh, Riaz Babur was, I think he would have been much better if he was in some sort of drama business and movie making business. He is. Because of his talent. He is. Oh, no, I, I know I mean, he is also, but I, I, I thought that he's wasting his time. <laughs> he, he would have been much better in kind of sort of uh, uh, movie making business, you know, the, uh, or drama business and more money even. But anyway, he liked this. Uh, so. I got to know all these friends, you know, Dr. Sandhu, and I especially, I want to thank all of them because uh, who arranged it. And uh, so, say then were my, my body mate, and I remember first year, the very first day we dissected thorax, and the very first thing was that we had to find the anterior cutaneous branch of the intercostal nerve. <laughs> you can imagine in a, in a body which is probably was homeless uh, and black color, dark color, they couldn't find. And uh, he, he can help me along all the way. He's, I mean, he was a talented, you know, he was really good. And he helped me for a lot of other ways, you know. So I, I, I don't know if I forgot anything, but anyway, I, I really like uh, everybody. I feel so close. Um, I feel close even to Mansoor, even though I, I never had a shake with him. I always saw him in the tuck shops. <laughs> and uh, look at that. So, and uh, accomplished surgeon. So, a lot of people uh, now accomplished. You know, the, I remember uh, uh, Bashir. Uh, he, he sent me a copy of his, uh, uh, I think a PDF of his uh, uh, portion of the textbook that he, uh, and I read obstructive sleep apnea was one of them. So I read a little bit, so anyway, I found out that a lot of people are a lot of, uh, you know, in, in good uh, positions. Anyhow, I'm very thankful, and I'm thankful uh, to you as well for giving me a chance. That was a Assalamu I think uh, Rafiq said textbook and I heard sex books. But I'm sorry, it's my hard of hearing. Yeah.